Hello, welcome to Wilcox Nursery and Landscape. I'm Bruce Turley, the owner, and this is where we are focused on native plants and sustainable products and practices. We're going to be talking about native plants and identifying and getting you familiar with some of our native plants. So we're going to do a segment where we do some points of interest around the nursery and talk about some of the plant displays that you can see uh, plants grown out. So the uh, question always arises is what is a native plant? A native plant would be a plant that occurred here naturally prior to European uh, contact here in the New World. And why do we plant native plants? Uh, native plants have adapted the diversity of environments we have in Florida, and in so they are able to help us reduce our input from fertilizers, pesticides, and they're really fantastic for providing sustainability from our pollinators at the whole chain of life. And they, of course, give us a sense that we know where we are as opposed to anywhere else on the globe. We have areas, again, in the nursery that we are doing screening to hide some of our view to our neighbors. One of the plants that's kind of worked into this mixed screening line is a plant called Fiddlewood. It's a rather tropical looking native that uh, has this nice glossy or almost varnished looking foliage. The foliage is rather big, which gives it kind of almost that tropical look. And it produces these sprays of flowers during the earlier part of the growing season. The flowers are a great attractor for, again, a variety of pollinators, including butterflies. They're quite fragrant. It really has quite a nice aroma to perfume the yard. And at this time of the year, as we're going into the late summer and the fall, uh, you're seeing the sprays of uh, berries that it's producing. And eventually they go through kind of a coloration of going from green to amber and eventually into this dark color that you might see on some of these other branches. So it can be quite attractive in itself. And again, is a good attractor for songbirds as a food source. Again, just a beautiful plant. It is a really broad growing plant typically, so you want to give it a lot of room. It can make a small tree or a large bush, but do give it room for its broad spread. Just a really beautiful ornamental native. Continuing our screening line, uh, we have planted a row here of Yopon holly. Yopon holly is again fairly uh, well distributed through central and north Florida. <clears throat> it has a smaller gray green foliage compared to some of the other hollies. So with Yopon holly, you need male and female plants in order to get the berries. A lot of times people don't necessarily have room for large trees uh, or very many trees in the yard. So if you can get a female in the larger form to produce the berries, a lot of people will use the cheater plant, which is the dwarf form of the plant, which are all males. And the male plants can provide the pollen so that you get the red berries and the fruit on your female shrubs or trees in the bigger form. To me, the Yopon holly, as well as the other species of holly, are one of the really great pollinator attractors. When they're in flower in the spring and early summer, uh, they just are super for attracting a diversity of uh, different bees and pollinators to the flower. During the fall and the winter, the uh, female plants produce the berries. This one still only has some small immature berries just developing on it but it will create, of course, a very attractive display. And again, it's a great attractor for songbirds as a food source. I've had so many customers take this plant home. I even had this happen myself years ago when I planted one in my yard. Before I could uh, take it off the bed of the truck to set it off in the yard, I had a mockingbird in the top of the tree. So it has a really attractive uh, qualities to the wildlife. And again, it can make a beautiful small tree. Uh, these can get up into 25, 30 foot range if you'll want to allow them to do that. In this case, we've kind of maintained them more as a large shrub for a screening line. The uh, leaf can be dried and used as a, uh, as a tea. Makes a really delicious yopon tea. So it has both a, uh, a uh, quality as a food plant as well as being a great hardy landscape plant and a great wildlife plant. So that's our tour of our little vignettes here at the nursery. 
And if you really want a dynamic 365, 24-7, plant native plants in your landscape, like our fire bush here and our goldenrods, and you will bring all kinds of life to your landscape.